This is an historic moment in the battle against Alzheimer's. For the first time, a drug has been approved which tackles not just the symptoms, but the underlying cause of this devastating disease. Aducanumab is not yet licensed in the UK and available only as part of a clinical trial, like here at the National Hospital for Neurology in central London. Aldo Chereza, who's 68, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's 10 years ago and had to stop working as a surgeon. He receives aducanumab every month via infusion and is certain it's helped him. I felt that I, was, uh, I wasn't getting so mixed up. My, my, my cognitive tests were improving quite, quite markedly. Two years ago, aducanumab was written off as a failure and the trial Aldo was taking part in was abandoned. But the manufacturers, Biogen, analysed more data and concluded those on the highest doses had better cognition, memory and language. This is the brain of someone with early Alzheimer's. The red areas show a build-up of amyloid, a protein which can form toxic deposits. This is the same individual after a year of aducanumab. Significant amounts of amyloid have been cleared. The doctor who's leading the clinical trials of aducanumab in the UK is delighted. This is a pivotal moment for the Alzheimer's research community. This will give hope to the people that haven't had any hope for a very long time. Those patients and participants in my trials who are desperate to find something that helps. In recent years, over a hundred promising Alzheimer's drugs have flopped. So to now have a medicine that can potentially slow the disease is a huge moment and will encourage scientists to redouble their efforts and find even better treatments. Aldo has been back on aducanumab for six months and says he's already beginning to feel the benefits. I've noticed that I'm getting less confused. Although it's still there, it's not quite as bad. Um, and I'm just feeling that bit more confident now. Aducanumab is suitable only for those with mild Alzheimer's, when damage to brain function is still limited. It could take more than a year before UK regulators decide whether to approve the drug. If they do, demand here will be enormous. Fergus Walsh, BBC News.